Well, the water's too clear and the air's too cold, but I'm going to go against the odds and try and catch a feed of yabbies. Hey, you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. It's not even 15 degrees at the moment, it's a little bit chilly, but the water should still be reasonably warm. It's only our first sort of strong cold change for the autumn. I'm going yabby in with four open top lift nets, all baited up with two chicken drumsticks each. I've never actually been yabbying in this dam. Actually, yes I have. I put a net in here once and caught nothing, absolutely nothing. So the water's too clear, the air's too cold, and I've got a bad history in this dam. Net number three can go in this corner. I kid you not, I just looked down that hole. I'm not joking. I just looked down there and I thought, that's got to be a yabby hole. And there was a massive, big, black yabby claw. I'm not even joking. There is an enormous, big, black yabby in there. Hopefully there's plenty in there. Well, that's a good sign. I actually saw a massive yabby down that hole. In all my time yabbying, that big claw was one of the coolest things that I reckon I've ever seen. Put this one in a bit closer. Right now, it's time to check the nets. Well, it's probably not time, but it's been about 20 minutes. That should be long enough. I'm going to start here, work my way around the dam. Got lots of things against me today. <laughs> Well, ain't nothing in that one. I don't know whether to go out far because it's deep or in close or what to do. Net number two. Now I know they're here because I saw that monster in that hole over there before. Oh yes, yes! Four! They are here alright and they're big! Woohoo! Yeah! They are big yabbies! Nice and clean. Even the smallest one's quite a nice size yabby. Look at these two big kahunas. They are here. I actually thought they'd be darker than that because I saw that big black claw in that hole before. And I kid you not, that big black claw was bigger than these claws and that's quite a big yabby. He's got a lovely big fat tail on him. Four yabbies in the net. I'm on the board. They are here. Beauty! Net number three. I want that real big black one that was in that hole before. <laughs> now I'm excited. And nothing. So none for none. Now this is the one that's in the closest. I didn't throw this one out very far. I wonder if I should have. Being in close didn't work. I might throw it way out and see what happens. Oh, I wouldn't want to throw it much further than that. A rope isn't long enough. Right, so I checked all four nets. I caught four yabbies. That's an average of one yabby per net, and I got them all in the one net. <laughs> Here they are. Have a look at them. They're decent yabbies. They're nice big yabbies. Well, three of them are anyway. One's medium to large. The other three are large to extra large. Beautiful. Off to a good start. A good start. A good start. Ding ding. Round two. Can I build on my tally of four? There was nothing in this net earlier. Oh, there's something in there now though. Two. Two big ones, and one of them's really big. They're nice size. Yeah, there's one nice one. Black beetle can go back in the dam. One big black one. Beautiful. Even that's a nice size yabby, but this is a monster. Still not as big as the one I saw in that hole over there before though. The one in that hole, that claw was twice the size of that, it was a big yabby. Anyway, I've got half a dozen, a dozen of them and I'll be happy. This is the winning net so far today, this is the net that had four. Had four before, what's it got now? Whoa, look, whoa, it's got the jackpot. Look at the size of that big one. Yeah, let's get the string out of the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, including a couple of really big monsters. That is cool. Now, 
It's a success. It's a successful trip. Look at that. Beautiful big gabbies. Look at the size of this big kahuna over here. That's a better big yabby. <laughs> That's one of the biggest I've caught for quite some time. Look, I'll put this one back in the dam. I think even this one here, on a recent yabbying trip to Broken Creek, I caught a lot that size, but uh, in this spot, that's just not up to the task. That one can go, and these two can go in the bucket. Nice yabby. Look at this big kahuna. That's a massive yabby. That's a bit dirty, but that is a really big yabby. <laughs> I am super happy. I've lost count of what I've kept. I think I'm at about nine or ten, but look at how big they are. They're nine or ten big ones, including that one there. That's the biggest of the big ones. Well, this has been very successful so far. Every time I've come back over this corner of the dam, I've looked in there to see if that really big claw and that big yabby's in there, but I haven't seen it again. Anyway, haven't caught a yabby in this net yet. Will this be the first time? Yes, two. Once again, two quite large yabbies. That's quite a large yabby. And this is quite a very large yabby. <laughs> that one to grab me on the finger. Bit of a bruiser, that one. Late season, hey? Middle of March. Against the odds. It's cold. The water's clear. Everything doesn't seem right. And I'm having awesome yabbying success. Right, net number four. This is the one that's out the furthest. It's almost out to the end of its rope. It's out the deepest. Are ah, there any big monsters out deep? Well, some, yes. There's four, but only one of them's going in the bucket. The other three can go back in the dam. They're a bit small. Actually, two of them can go in the bucket. There's, yeah, four. Two in the bucket, two back in the dam, I reckon. That's quite a nice yabby. A bit small. A bit small. There's a big kahuna here in the corner. That's definitely a bucket yabby. Any day of the week. Cool. Awesome. Exactly what I didn't want to happen. <laughs> I threw the whole bloody bottle in, had to put my foot in the water to get it out. My foot's a little damp, but not too bad. And I saved my net. <laughs> right, it's time to check them. It's been an hour. This will be my second last check, and then I'll uh, check them one more time after this and go home. This is the longest they've been in. And, oh yes, yes. Look at them all. One, two, three, four, five. They're all good size. I can afford to be quite picky here now. Go for the biggest ones of the five. I'll take that big kahuna. That big kahuna. These are huge yabbies. They're very large. <laughs> that big one. What an awesome... What an awesome trip this has been. I'll take that one. I'll throw that one back. That's a nice yabby in most dams. But uh, it's a little bit undersized here in the land of the giants. Right, last soak. This has been the best net so far today. And look at them all. I think there's... One, two, three, four, five, six in there. But only probably only kept one, maybe two. I'll keep the biggest couple. This big one can go in the bucket. Well oh, that one there can, it's a nice yabby. They're all nice yabbies. I'll keep three and I'll put three back. There they go. Oh, look out. One of, me, uh, one of me drumsticks has fallen out. I probably should tie that back in, even just with one little loop. Because what happens with these nets, when you throw them in, as that sinks, 
the bait will float up and, and lose the bait. Right, last soak. Big holes in the ground here, yabby holes everywhere. This has been so good. I have had sessions this year where I've caught more, but not as big. His old mate home here, is he? Seen that big black? I can see it, I can see it. I saw it again. Can you see it? Look at the size of those claws. I'm not sure whether the camera can pick it up, but look at the size of those claws. I really hope the camera can pick that up. Those claws are enormous. He's coming out, he's coming out, look. He's coming out. Huh? He's got a hold of the stick. I've never seen anything like it. Huh. I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen that in my life. Those claws are enormous. That is a huge yabby down there. I tried to get that yabby to grab a stick and uh, lift him out, but he wasn't having a bar of it. Whoa, look at this. Look at the size of those yabbies. You can't be serious. That is a lobster. That claw, that claw is the same size claw as what's in that hole. That's what's in, look at the size of that. This is just, wow. Can you believe that? I've got very big hands and I tend to make things look small. That is massive. Absolutely massive. Look at the size of it on the lid of my bucket. And look at the size of the claws. That is so big! I put that real big one in. They're all big. I need to somehow sort them out because I've, there's another monster. That is huge! That's enormous! That's incredible! See, I've got yabbies in the bucket that are half the size of these ones. What I might do during this last check is try and sort them out so that I can throw some of the smaller ones that I've got earlier back and just keep these really big monsters. That is incredible. <laughs> wow. Right, I put them in for the last soak. No, 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 not again. No. Oh. Got it without having to get wet that time. Net number four. Look at oh, them, wow. This is just nuts. This is off tap, this dam. This is just off tap. They are huge. This is the land of the giants. In some dams, I'll go yabbying in. That's the biggest you get. I'm just throwing that back. And in this dam, even this is not as big as some of the others. <laughs> Unbelievable. Those nets had an hour that time. I don't know whether they'll get an hour this time, but I'm gonna leave them in for the last, the last hurrah, and come back in a little while and check them again. This is awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty-one, thirty-two. Oh, thirty-two yabbies in there. As the light rain starts to fall, it's time to check the nets for the last time. Now they've only been in about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And that's because I just tallied them all up, I took them all out, and there's 30 huge big yabbies in there. So I don't really need any more, so I'm pretty much just going to throw everything back now and head off. 
And unless I get a couple of those really big, massive prehistoric yabbies, I'll probably just throw them all back. There's two in there. Yeah, one went one down there. There was three. One went down there and there's still two in the net. Gone. People sometimes ask me what I'd do with my bait when I'm finished. Just throw it in the water, just like that. And that will give the yabby something to feed on, fatten them up a little bit. This net's certainly done really, really well today. Oh, look, yep. I'm going to keep one. This real big monster. Got a fair bit of mud on him too. Look, I reckon he's been uh, tunnelling in the mud like old mate in the corner over there. Getting ready to shut down for the winter. I'll keep the monster. These two small ones can go back. This is the net that had the dinosaurs in it earlier. A few little ones, two little ones, and that's it. Go on. All right, last net of the afternoon. And nothing. <laughs> How funny is that? Not one yabby. This has been awesome. I have caught some of the biggest yabbies that I've seen for years. They've been massive. It's the middle of March and I'm still catching big yabbies. Thank you all very much for watching.